on then to heat four. And as we wait for the riders to come up, I can tell you that Sean Moran certainly given notice of intent tonight, because when he won that last heat so easily, he smashed his own track record here at Arlington, knocking four fifths of a second. Off the record, it's now 63.2. A really flying ride there. And as we go on to heat four, the rest know what it's all about. From the right, it's Peter Rahn from Bellevue and Denmark. Then Reg Wilson from Sheffield. Next to him, his Tigers teammate Wayne Brown. And on the outside, on the left, Steve Baker from Halifax. Heat four. And with Peter Rahn back in third spot. They all took a little bit of time there on that first bend, sorting themselves out, but it was Reg Wilson who picked up the lead, and he's now being challenged on the outside. Very well indeed by Wayne Brown. And there just wasn't quite enough room there against the fence as they crossed the line for the first time. So now Brown's got to try again. He knocked off a little bit there, but he nearly caught Reg Wilson unawares on that pitch bend first time round. Now he comes up on the inside. Wilson has a look, sees he's there. And now he's got to come right back again on that first turn because Wayne Brown is giving him a tremendous strap. Fred Wilson, his 14th season, he's been with Sheffield, he's been with a few teams in the second division, but he's been with Sheffield all that time as well. And a tremendous service here on the last lap now with young Wayne Brown, who's 12 years younger than Red, challenging from second place. Has Red got the track craft to hold off Brown on the last turn now? Brown right on the inside. Is he going to make it? Wilson looks around, now he's just got the power. Red Wilson wins in blue. In second, it's Wayne Brown in white. And in third spot, Peter Rahn from Bellevue. <laughs> 